Hi guys, my name is Prince Sethi and today we are going to learn uh, file attributes in VBA like I have to check what is the size of a file when the file gets created when it's been last modified where it's been residing or uh, what is the name of that particular file or something like that means these are the attributes of a file so let's see how we can uh, drive these things uh, through VBA so straight forwarding I'm reaching to VBA editor creating a sub processor over here like sub uh, file attribute whatever the name that you want to give it okay so I'm using uh, file dialogs over here so I'm using this by with statement with application dot file dialogs uh, and in file dialogs I'm op taking file dialogs open so taking with and doing and with as uh, straight away okay so what are the attributes that I need over here like uh, I can select multiple files so I'll choose allow multi select would be true okay so my second attribute would be title title should be uh, like I'm saying uh, please select all the file please select all the files or whatever that you want to give it and straight away show okay so it will work like this way so this will be and file open dialog box so I can choose my location I can select all the files that I want uh, their informations and that informations would come over here like it would become over here like what is the name of files when it's been created last modified size in which drive it's been and their respective path okay so as of now it's showing nothing just because we haven't select anything and we haven't opened that particular file and something like that but as of now we need to create an object to to uh, have the information for for the for the selected item so like might be I would selected an item so I'm taking selected item dot count so I'm not aware as of now how many files I would select so I'll just take a variable and and put their counts in that particular variable okay so for that I need to run a loop like for okay so my loop would be start from for like i is equals to 1 2 n and next okay so dim n as integer okay so like it has to be start from second row if you see over here so I can mention one thing over here dim r as integer so r would be 2 okay so over here I'm mentioning uh, like whatever the selected item like I had select item the path would be put into my variable so like I'm taking variable xx so xx contain the path of that particular uh, selected file so I can mention one more thing over here Sec xx as string so it will contain my path so right now uh, okay as of now I have to take uh, object as well like I'm taking um, fp is equals to create object this thing you need to uh, I mean, remember or you have to be aware scripting dot file object it's just because uh, the attributes that we are going to use is come coming under this library fine so this is the thing that you need to be taken care of rest uh, is all about your logic or all about your knowledge so like uh, what are the objects that I'm going to use over here like my first object will be 
uh, the name of the files like if you see over here so file name so for that fp dot uh, get file get file name of what xx the uh, the file which we have selected and their respective name so I'm putting it in a variable like it would be file name fn so I have to mention these things as well over here so my second uh, object would be like date created when it's been created so everything will be remain same over here uh, the, but the last in place of name so we can mention date created C -R -E -A -T -E -D. fine so I'm putting this in a variable like CR created when it's been created okay same way last modified same copy and paste in place of date created then it would be date last modified date last modified and I am putting this in a variable last modified lm whatever the keyword that you want to click uh, next would be uh, my size if I'll just see this okay the next one would be size and drive okay everything will be remain same so over here I'm taking size size would be like I'm taking variable as set uh, next would be my drive so I'm taking drive so for that I'm taking variable dr and last one like I'm taking the path of that particular file so path will be like pt so now this these informations comes over here and if I'll to show some same thing uh, over uh, in my sheet so for that I can mention uh, active sheet dot range uh, like it would be a and whatever hours value dot value would be fn same way so I'm just copying it copying paste 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 sorry paste and paste so okay a and r it would be b and r it would be c and r it would be d and r it would be E and R it would be F and R okay so it would be first one would be F and second would be C R third would be my L M fourth would be my S chat fifth would be my D R and the last one would be my path so P T is there so I think it's been done so needs to check okay so I can mention one thing over here like on error resume next so in case if there is an error so I think my loop will be main continue so okay so I'm inserting a button over here like this would be my button making it this way whatever right click assign macro what is a macro file attributes so click so like I have to select few files so like uh, I'm going to select these three files so open okay like I think I have to mention over here let me check so if I'll just go through this thing so my desktop so like I have chosen these three so count comes over here three files so if you see Prince XLSM okay fine so FN empty
sorry I think it has to be file system object scripting dot file system okay so let's see once again I'm so going to desktop selecting these three files or four files whatever yes it's fine okay so I'm pressing F59 right now Oops. okay one more thing that needs to be taken care of R is equals to R plus 1 just because I want R value should be increased so F5 coming on to my desktop so like I'm selecting these four files so if you see over here it's been making bit over here so these are the names prints when it's been created last modified and so on and so forth fine so I hope you have understand this thing and you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching have a nice day